Hey everyone, it is day 17 of Vlogmas, which means I've got one week left. Don't know where that time has gone, I mean I do, I've got good documented evidence. <laughs> but it has actually gone quicker than I was expecting. I am up early and I'm going to be doing some knitting. I thought I would show you the sock that I've been working on because I don't think I've actually told you about it yet. It is from this book, it's the Lane Publishing 52 Weeks of Socks book. I asked for this as a birthday present when I had been knitting for about three, four months and I basically had no idea what I was doing because I kept seeing on Instagram and the socks and it looked so amazing. I knew that I was gonna take a while till I was able to actually knit any of them. And I have started my first pair from this book after making a couple of pairs of a much more basic sock. It is a fairly ambitious thing to try and make when I haven't been knitting for very long and I've only knitted one pair of they're literally called super basic sock, which is definitely appropriate. But I thought, go big or go home, you know? <laughs> if, if I want to make something that's really cool to me, I'm just going to have to try something a little bit more challenging, let's say. But it's actually been good so far. So the pattern is called Gerst, I believe it's pronounced. And it's supposed to look like this when it's finished. So hopefully you can see the top of it has got that really beautiful pattern and the bottom is just straight stockinette. And I've gotten pretty far so far. I have been working on this for a few months at least, so this hasn't happened overnight by any means. But I had my, I did my toe section and then I've got the full main part of the front. The back is just the plain stockinette. And I've gotten to the stage where I need to start turning the heel or creating the heel. So I'm gonna have a go with that now. I thought it would be fun to show you just in case I completely destroy this sock, which is entirely possible. At least you've got evidence of what I've been doing so far. All right, I have done six rows of what's called the German short row heel. I'm not convinced I've done it right. It looks really strange, but I think it's supposed to look strange. So I'm hoping that it is right. I'm just gonna have to wait and see until a little bit later on. I will say, I wish I had put in a rescue stitch. I think that's what it's called. I've heard about this concept before where you put in a row of stitches in case you completely mess something up. You can just pull back to that. So you put in like a contrasting yarn just to catch that point to make sure that you can then pull back to exactly that spot. And yeah, I didn't do that. So I really hope I didn't destroy this whole sock because I've been working on it a long time and it looks beautiful and it would suck to lose it, but we'll wait and see. go ahead and open my advent calendars before I need to get ready for work. I will start as I usually do with my Kylie in the Machine sewing label advent calendar. Look how few days. 17. Ooh. Oh, we've got a knitted cardigan. Yesterday, actually, Amelia from So Amelia, who you might have spotted in my sewing vlog from yesterday, I was watching her video as I was sewing, she actually suggested in the comments that I make a particular cardigan pattern with my advent yarn. And I'm gonna have to look into that because it's a good idea. Even if the yarn's a bit scratchy, my main issue is that it can get a bit scratchy in this area and a cardigan doesn't really go there. So I think it's a good shout. But I like that I've then got a and they did cardigan. Seems perfect. <laughs> well, this is a good all-rounder. <laughs> I think it's always going to be all right. We've got, yay! Hopefully you can see there's a little face on there. Ooh, yeah, there's a little face on the exclamation point, a little smiley. <laughs> That's cute. All right, and yarn. We've got 17 in this corner, well, not quite in the corner, down in that area. I feel like these are almost like whispers of color, which is really nice. So I, I hope you can see some of this coming through, but it is like a very pale, foamy green color, and there's just a little bit of purple here and there. I feel like 
depending on the light, it's difficult to pick up on these colors. As usual, if I feel like I can get it better on a photo, I might well end up doing that. But it's such a lovely, subtle one. I love that. I feel like you could make, I mean, I'm not, not with this little mini skein, but I feel like you can make like a whole sweater with that. And if you're from far away, it would just look like it was creamy white. And as you got closer, you'd be able to see those little hints of color. It's really beautiful. I am anticipating a busier day at work today. It looks like it's pretty busy. We've had a bit of a a big surge in births in the hospital as happens now and again. And then they come out to the community and we need to go and visit all of the moms and the babies at home. So I might not get a huge amount of filming time at work today. We'll see what I can squeeze in, if I can squeeze anything in. But I will certainly be checking in with you a bit later on one way or another. See you then. A lot of times when I'm at work, I get to be near the River Thames and it's just always so peaceful to be near any kind of water. We've got some interesting activity going on. We've got some rowers. It's a very gray day, so don't be surprised by the very blahness of it all, but it looks pretty still. I do always appreciate when I've got visits near the river. It's very peaceful. I think very good for the soul to be near water. I've just left a visit that is literally around the corner from Gold Hawk Road where there are a ton of fabric shops. I'm not shopping for fabric. I'm not looking for any fabric, but it seems almost rude not to go. I ate in my car, didn't have a proper lunch break. So I feel like I can spend a few minutes showing you guys around Gold Hawk Road. That's got to be it. I can't go into all of them. I think there's probably like 20 in total. But it's fun to have a little look around. Well, no sewing for this one tonight. This girl is tired. Turned out to be a busy day as I expected. We have got a midwife on each of my team self-isolating because of COVID, which means we're down and we're extra busy because everyone's having their babies at once. So yeah, it's been a draining day. I feel pretty wiped out. We're gonna have a bit of a chill and I'm hoping an early night cause boy could I do with it. But I will see all of you tomorrow. Have a good one, bye.